Let's take a minute to discuss the items that are unique to Lazar. We have PMA on a lot of items. In the landing gear area, we offer the steering horn upgrade for all models that has a clamp-on stud. The 69 and later aircraft had a stud welded to the airframe that in order to take the slop out of that area, you would have to grind off the stud, weld on a new one at the proper angle. That would be tricky. Where we have the PMA clamp-on stud that brings that stud back to full dimension and then the mating part for that. These are made of better materials and offer a longer life of the part. The steering horn? Steering horn there. The part on the left, it shows a wood dowel in it, and that's to that simulates the aircraft airframe that it's clamped to. The next thing that you'll see a lot of, and I know Carrie can back this up, is the aircraft's jacked up, and you take the nose wheel and you get four and aft play. It's not the lateral play that we talked about in the steering horn area. This is actual fore and aft. And it's not the bolt. It's not the bushing. I'll sell you a bolt and a bushing, but it'll do you absolutely no good. It won't take the slop out. The fact is that the pivot truss that the nose truss is bolted to has become hourglass shaped inside. The part's worn. What's that cool? We'll get right there. That is fixed with our oversized bushing kit. You ream the part five thousandths over to clean up that bore so that it has a straight bore. Install the bushing that's five over on the OD. Install the new bolt. Problem solved. And it's priced very reasonably at $190 and it is the most high volume part sold day in and day out. There's some days I'll sell two, three a day. While you're in the nose gear area, please get a copy of Mooney Service Bulletin SB M20-202. It's an old, old bushing that was, or service bulletin, excuse me, that came back, oh, probably mid 70s when that came out and it covered early serial J numbers back to the first airplanes made. And it talks about getting the spindle of the aircraft aft of the pivot point. Otherwise, the nose gear sits out there and knocks like a shopping cart in the Safeway parking lot. It goes, it'll actually, I've seen aircraft leave the runway because of this. It's a $45 part, goes underneath the collar that helps compress the shock disc farther. When it does that, it moves the axle back and gets it behind the pivot point. The aircraft tames down, the rodeo's over, everything's good. We also offer nose truss repairs for those that get dented from oversteering, typically larger airports with power tugs. They don't know not to oversteer a Mooney and they dent the truss factory max allowance on that's one thirty second of an inch, which is about the thickness of the paint. After that, it's supposed to be unairworthy. We also have parts that we offer that are stainless steel kits where you get the pretty chrome hubcaps for both the nose, the main gear, a tie down jack point combo and a tail skid tie down combination. Always in stock. They're on our website. All you people that have been inquiring about the wiser visors, they're on their way back. I'm currently taking orders. I have a clipboard in my office that has probably 35, 40 people wanting them. They're offered on a special website tag that we put on there. Dustin did last night. Thank you, Dustin. Where you can actually go on. Yes, sir. T typically 69 and later. And we're going to be taking orders probably for a short time more and then I'm going to tell the manufacturer to make a full run. We're going to contact everyone that has contacted us and get them on the way. 
next thing we're going to discuss is laser mods. They're on the website. You can come in and see me later and I'll actually send you a printed copy out if you want. The number one selling mod out there is the Kit 131, the Cal Closure. This is a lightweight, easy to install mod with multiple advantages. You pick up four and a half miles an hour of speed increase, better engine temps, a better looking air inlet in the front of the airplane, and a hidden gain that we came up on this one that was kind of a surprise after it was installed. The aircraft got quieter inside. With that large guppy mouth that was out there on the early models, there's too much air going in there. Goes in, fights itself. There's a big burble fight inside of there and pretty soon some of it has to spill back out, comes back out, bangs on the windshield. Well, with this mod that goes away. The number two selling kit is the Kit 100, which is the flap gap seals. About a two and a half mile an hour gain, greater rate of climb. It's another win-win. Number three and four kind of go hand in hand. It's the dorsal and the tail root fairing. I, I suggest they be installed in combination with each other to clean up that intersection when you get back to the tail section, both at the horizontal and the vertical stab attach. You can also hide the new 406 ELT flexible antenna underneath the fiberglass dorsal. It's perfectly legal. There is a Mooney service instruction SI-20-116 that specifically addresses putting the flexible antenna underneath the fiberglass dorsal. There's, there's a drawing in the service instruction. Tells you exactly where to mount it. Please don't forget to visit our online store, which can be found at www.lazar.com. You'll see we are currently loading every item in stock onto the website. Should be done when it's done with <laughs> thousands and thousands of parts in stock, but every one of them is going to be on there for you to actually see the part, see the price. The freight calculator is in there. We weigh, measure, calculate every part that we're putting on there so it's easy for you to purchase.